So Peter, thanks for joining us. Uh, what, what would you say are the top cyber trends and why do we need to care about them? Thanks for having me. I think what's interesting about this space is if you and I were talking 10 years ago uh, about what are the key cybersecurity issues, we'd be saying things like cyber crime, we'd be saying things like the rise of intellectual property theft and what it's doing to relations with countries like China. We'd be talking about um, botnets. And the problem in cybersecurity is none of those issues have been solved. And then we also have a new layer of ones on top of them. And they hit everything from uh, the collapse of cyber deterrence in the wake of uh, Russia getting away with a series of attacks on not just the United States, but Norway, France, you name it, with no real consequence. Um, and that's had a knock-on effect to every other actor out there. We are seeing um, new forms of attack rise, uh, particularly ransomware. Uh, by one measure, it went up 167 times over the last year. Uh, times um, and it looks likely to grow because each ransomware attack is paying off more for the attacker. Uh, the change in the internet to the internet of things um, changes the way we use the internet and it also massively grows the attack surface. Uh, we're also seeing, I think one of the key ones is hybridization uh, where you are seeing um, non-state criminal actors do the work of the state and in turn state actors operate like criminal actors. So for example, one of the biggest bank robberies in human history was uh, undertaken by a North Korean group uh, that basically was robbing banks to help pay for the regime. Um, we're seeing all of that play out. And then probably the last is another kind of hybridization where we are seeing elements of cyber war cross with information warfare, where the hacking is not of merely the networks, but the people behind the networks, the impact of social media on all of this. Well, so tell me a little bit about that, because we've seen election hacking starting to be a mainstream issue around the world. We've seen the Cam Cambridge Analytica issue. We've seen Mark Zuckerberg hold before Congress. So, so what's going on there? So there's a bigger change that I think is at play right now. Um, I call the phenomena like war. And it's the idea of, again, instead of going after the network, you are battling to drive information viral on the network. And if you are able to do so, you're able to win whatever your conflict is, whether it's to win an election, to win a physical battle. The Battle of Mosul was shaped through ISIS being able to drive narrative uh, to your marketing campaign um, if you are a pop star selling an album. And what's interesting is each of these players are all using very similar tactics and all the battles are taking place in the same domain. And we are all players in Like War. Our clicks shape which goes viral whose version wins out, whether it's whose disinformation attacking political candidates uh, to whether it's Israel or Hamas's version of their um, conflict, whichever wins out. The challenge is that in this space, virality beats veracity. And that's very scary to democracies. And then the second challenge is that the powers that help determine the winners and losers are not just the participants, not just you and I, but a very small group of people at a very small number of technology companies who small changes in their algorithms completely tilt the battlefield one way or another. To give a more uh, defined example of that, if Mark Zuckerberg had put in place at Facebook the changes that they've put in place in terms of its policy over the last couple of months, we would have a different president if that had been in place in 2016. If YouTube had had different standards, different uh, tweaks to the algorithm of how information is steered in that, there are terrorist attacks that would not have happened. So the, the, the changes that they have made, very good changes they've made in the last several months, though were not in place previously and had real effect. And what I'm getting at here is it's a very uh, different world where we're all participating, but also you have powers that tilt the battlefield one way or another that gives them an enormous power and responsibility 
that many of them are just starting to engage in. Peter, thank you very much.